we are devo that we have to leave today so we're having ourselves one last hurrah we got ricotta pancakes that last night was so fun i feel like we have learned a lot of lessons traveling this trip and i will impart them all to you shortly but first breakfast I'm gonna add another hot tip here always read the train number I like glanced at the screen and I saw what I thought our destination was and I was like, babe, it's platform six, come on. Cause we were like minutes to our train because our driver that was picking us up took like, got stuck. I don't know what happened. We run to the train station, run, run, run. We just get on the train. We walk to the seat, someone's in it. We were on the wrong train. So we jump off the train, run, run, run. It's like two platforms over. As we get up, the train is pulling away. We were here, we were just on the wrong train and we missed it and we have such a tight connection to our ferry to get to Ischia that I was like really sad and it was my fault and I felt bad. But then of course, Mr. Logistics went and talked to the train people and there's another train coming and it gives us a very tight window to get to the ferry, but we still might make it. So wish us luck. This is our first like major mishap, I guess. And honestly, it was because I read the destination and not the train number, because I forgot it. And we were like just in spider or flight mode. We were just running because we knew we had like two minutes to make our train. Just a hot tip for you. A lot of hot tips. We're, we're learning a lot this trip. I'm realizing how much pressure I put on myself when I travel to find like the best hotel, to like have the best meals. Like I think when you spend so much money and you put so much effort and it's like hard to get time off, etc. Like there's a lot of, like a lot weigh, is weighing in on the things that you do. Like there's a lot riding on it. So I'm trying to be easy on myself and trust that sometimes we're rerouted as we are needed and everybody's safe, everything's fine. We had to pay $40 extra, whatever, um, but all's gonna be okay. We're gonna make this train and we're gonna make it to the ferry and we're gonna make it to Ischia and it's all gonna be worth it. All right, have no fear. Our train is actually here. We're gonna make it this time. Well, we've made the ferry, but they everyone leaves their luggage over here on the side and that makes me feel a bit uneasy, but everyone was doing it, so. I hope nobody takes this harp. We are gonna rent one of these cars and I'm so excited. Okay, it was actually just a short walk from the ferry to the hotel, so here we are. You know I'm gonna do a hotel tour first thing and look at our view. <gasps> I can't wait for this. Yes, oh my gosh, this is what I was dreaming of. Okay, so the bedroom is kind of like basic, but nice, like just clean, simple, minimal. Um, I'll show you the bathroom, but first. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh my God, our view is unbelievable. Wow. This is so special. I am so glad that we went with this hotel. It seems super nice so far, but just like it's the view for me. We're only here for two nights because the place that Callie and Dan were at didn't have availability and so we're switching over in a couple days. But this is the perfect warm welcome. Um, Ischia Blue is the other one that was super close. So if you get off the ferry, it's literally just like a hop, skip and a jump. We're also renting a car. Um, there's not parking here, but they're gonna let us keep it parked there. It's literally across from the ferry station. So it actually seems pretty easy to navigate getting here. Shower looks nice. Oh, we're just happy to be here because it looks so pretty. We're gonna go venture out and find food. We're gonna go get our little rental car. Yay, this is our home for the next couple days. We decided to venture out to get some food and then decide what our plan is for tonight. I'm super tired. I'm feeling a little under the weather and I notice when I like, I don't know, go too hard or don't get enough sleep. Like we stayed up a little bit late last night. Um, we went and got a drink at the hotel after we got back and today was a little bit stressful with the train missing and we had to like book it to the ferry. So part of me just wants to take it easy, but um, we're gonna figure it out. But we decided to come for a meal. We looked up what was good and close and so we're hoping for some yummy pizza. This place is very cute. Like how it's cute are these little plates? Yeah, it's kind of a vibe, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we had no idea how big these were gonna be. This is like a closed pizza thing. I've never seen this before, but it's, look how big it is compared to your hand, babe. 
It's gigantic. And look at this one compared to my hand. We over ordered. What else is new? Because we also got a chicken Caesar salad, but I guess we're gonna be new one. Oh my God. And this salad is literally the size of the boat that took us here. Whoops. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have no idea. It's like a fried closed pizza. Whoa. Oh, cool. It's like a big yummy bread ball baked with salami and cheese. Let me see the inside of that side, baby. Whoa. Cool. It's like a whale. All right, I'm just gonna blend. Is it good? It's hot. Okay, it's hot. Yes, it's good. It's giving sophisticated, gigantic hot pocket. <laughs> I cannot handle how good this pizza is. Obviously, it's so close to Naples, like it's Napoli's pizza. Well, literally the best pizza I have ever had. Look at this. The ends are like, Paper thin, the edges are crusty. It's like clearly like. But it's the sauce. God, the sauce is like the sweetest tomatoes. It's unreal, unreal. We see a scooter place that's labeled Super Mario Kart, so we have to go look. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh my god, this one's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, look! We found these little sunflowers just growing here. Oh my gosh, my heart, it's so cute. We just got back to the hotel and we were like, what is this thing? We thought it was like a trampoline, like a water trampoline. And they're gearing up to do like, is it kite surfing? What is it called? Wind surfing. Wind surfing? Also, how iconic is this hotel? Like, it's really a cool location. It looks like you can come to this beach and kind of post up on the rocks if you're not staying here. Like, this is uh, what the view looks like but I can't wait to get out here and do some swimming tomorrow. Okay, this property is absolutely stunning. The view is just stunning. It's actually next door to this Iskia Blue Hotel that we almost stayed at. It's just the bones of this property are just so beautiful. It's like one of those properties that like doesn't know how incredibly iconic it is. Whoa, and that's the ferry that we came off right here. Wow, the view here is truly beautiful. We think we're just gonna stay around the hotel tonight because we only have this hotel for two nights, but look at how beautiful the sunset is. Like, I can't believe we have like the most perfect view of the sunset on our little patio. It's just so amazing. This is so pretty. Look at that big orange ball sun. Oh, so magical. Ooh. Whoa, it is so pretty here tonight. We just thought we would do a simple dinner here at the hotel just because we're kind of tired from our travel day and it looks really pretty here. And I don't know, I want to spend as much time here as we can since we only have a couple nights. The moon is huge. It's almost full. It'll be a full moon tomorrow. I feel like the moon cannot be captured on camera but we're still gonna try. Oh my gosh, that lighthouse across the way is shining. How cool. Here's the restaurant, it looks really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Good morning, Iskia. We are gonna go to breakfast. Um, I got some nice texture out of those French braids, let me tell ya, but look what we woke up to. Ah! It's so beautiful out there this morning. We are going to attempt to learn to drive this. He's trying to show him how to do it and I do not understand. And I'm nervous because I don't drive manual. Wish I did. Gonna take lessons when I get back to LA. Well, he's doing it, but I don't know if I feel safe in it. Does that make me so lame that I'd rather be in a car that I understand? I don't know. This is just another level. Oh man. All right, update. Hello from our smart car. It's actually hilarious, it's so little. <laughs> but it, it's really fun. It has like um, the option to go manual or automatic. Um, so we're doing the automatic option on it and it seems like we can drive it. So that's a good thing. And you know what, we're getting quite, quite the view of the island here. This is a very fun way to bop around. Obviously, if you can do a scooter, do a scooter. We just have luggage with us. We thought it's silly to get a scooter if we're still gonna have to cab and do all this stuff. And also both of us are terrified of scooters for different reasons. So 
we've decided not to push ourselves too far out of our comfort zone this trip but i do think i'm going to add it to my like goal list to learn to drive a manual and to learn to drive a scooter because that is probably the most fun way to see a lot of these cities we're back <laughs> we cruise back today we're going to like an adult oh dan you look so cool your hair's getting so long what happened you've been a ponytail Beach <laughs> We're going to this amazing, I don't know, I'm calling the, it an adult water it's a park. thermal spa, natural thermal spa, where, oh my god, I can't, I've been, we've already been here, and we are so obsessed, I was like, I want to go back, so we're, we're doing it together. So this is our plan for today. We're very excited. So excited. Okay. Going hot. We have to wear swim caps here. <laughs> and we're losing. <laughs> should we get these? We should really, should we? I think we probably should. So I haven't recorded a lick of this day because it's been so magical, but we've been so in the moment. So if you guys come here, go first to schedule your body treatments and stuff if you want, but these are hot, cold pools. So I'm in a hot one right now, but the, look, show the sea, babe. So there's like levels up, 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 and there's a sauna built into the rock, which is so cool. I'm about to go in the cold pool. It's so cold, but I'm gonna do it because it's so good for your circulation. We've been doing hot, cold, hot, cold all day. You can eat lunch here, there's a beach, there's a pool, like I've just never seen anything like this. It's amazing. There you go. Oh no, <laughs> We close the place down. They drain the pools every night and then make them fresh. I just cannot handle it. This is just so incredible. So all the thermal stuff comes from the mountain. They have a, a sauna up there. So many little fig trees, so much in nature. It's on the beach, you can go to the beach, you can go to the pool. I just cannot, I cannot handle it. I never wanna leave. We're already trying to come back. We're already planning our day to return. So I'll give you guys a proper tour then. I just wanted to like absorb it today and not like worry about sharing it. Oh my gosh, is there a little lizard there? I just love, there's all these crazy like cool statues and stuff. Oh my gosh, there is a sunflower as tall as me. Proof, so cool. Okay, this is the most magical place. There's so many flowers and there's so many lizards. Everyone's just like, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are all so pretty. I'm never gonna get over it. This is so beautiful. <laughs> all right, we've got these kids on the scooter. We're in the tin car and we're off to dinner. Woo! Look at this little town. It's just so cute. Oh my God, what are these lights? Okay, in all seriousness, I really want a smart car. Like, I'm serious. I literally want to get one in LA. I think they're so great. They're so smart. They're so small. It's easy to park. They probably don't take that much gas. I'm obsessed. This little convertible one is the one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look! Oh my gosh, this man is making baskets right here outside his little truck. Oh my god, this little market is just really cute as well. We had rabbit for dinner, which is very traditional here, and I actually thought it was absolutely incredible. It was in like and a pasta. very tender red <laughs> pasta sauce, but they do serve half and whole rabbits here, so if you do come, be prepared. It's a whole, it's a whole traditional thing. Yeah. But it's, everything was so unreal. Somebody oh, this up. highly recommend. Thank you. If you come to Ischia, you have to come to this little shop. It's called Don Nicola, and it's all family owned. Um, during the pandemic, it burned down, so the family all got together and did the most beautiful decor inside. It's local honey, local products, like that you can take home and then cook with. And I'm just devastated that we don't have a bigger suitcase. Like we just want to bring everything home, recook all the experiences. It's just so sweet. And they're all from right here on Ischia, which is so cool. Literally, as you can see here, the stores opened in the 1800s and they've been operated by the family ever since. They do ship worldwide. I'm sure it's kind of expensive to ship, sadly. Anyway, let's go inside. I'm just obsessed with the ceiling they painted. Since they had the fire, they put a phoenix on the ceiling to signify that the store rose from the ashes. 
Oh my god, this little perfumery soaps. Oh my god. Sophia Loren, where's this one? Yeah. Did she come here and get it here? Oh wow. Oh my gosh. I want them all. It's not us out here crying on the street. <laughs> Because we're we don't know the next time we see each other every time we leave because we live so far away. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it on the phone, on the camera. <laughs> no, the but iPhone. Callie and Dan are officially signing off for the vlog. <laughs> we're sad. <laughs> Everybody's having Alex, to Cal and Alex uh, Cal and Al adventures extended. extended. Oh, I'm actually like fully. All oh, right, losing it. We're too emotional this time. Bye time. guys. <laughs> Say bye. Till next time. Ciao, Follow buddy. Callie. She has all the best uh, recommendations. And everybody try to convince her to do her own travel guides because we all want them. Everybody wants them. We need them. Okay? So everybody follow her. Thank you. All right. Love you guys. Toodaloo. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Bye. Oh. Aww. We're not ready for it to be over. But we do still have a couple little tricks up our sleeves. All right, we are saying goodbye to this room and I am devo. We just stood here for 15, 20 good minutes just watching the water, listening to the waves. I am so sad to leave here. I also just saw like a white butterfly floating along here. It's just so unbelievably peaceful. I'm gonna miss hanging out here. Oh, it's so nice. Um, we are, we have our bags packed there at the front desk. We're just gonna swim, you can jump. We didn't get to enjoy this at all yesterday because we went to the water park thing, which I didn't capture a ton of because I just wanted to be in the moment. We were having so much fun and I still really wanna go back. I wish that I could describe to you how incredible that place is. If you ever come here, you have to go to Poseidon. It is like a beautiful multi-level wellness theme park paradise. <laughs> I don't even know how else to describe it. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go swim in this beautiful blue-green water, which you'd probably rather be looking at right now than me, let's be honest. So I'll, I'll go ahead and give you guys a last glimpse as well. And yeah, we're just gonna swim, hang out, and then we're gonna pack ourselves into our sardine can. Uh, it'll be funny to see if we can Jenga the luggage inside and if it will make it up the hill with all that weight because it's barely chugging along. Uh, and then we're gonna head up to our next property that we're staying at here in Ischia. But I just wanna vlog from here forever. This is the spot. I wanna start my podcast from here. I just wanna live here. I love this little windowsill and it's like wide enough to perch on. Okay, anyway, we're moving on. We're gonna actually go stay at the same villa where Callie and Dan were staying. So we know that it's, the big bird just flew by. So we know that it's vetted and it's supposed to be really, really beautiful, owned by a local. And it's only has like three spaces. It's supposed to be really luxury and it's up in the mountains. I'm really sad to be leaving the beach. But if you do come to Ischia, this is such a soft place to land because it's literally like a two minute walk from the port. And you can get right off, rent a scooter if you wanted. Um, you can come right here and just kind of like land for a couple days. I'm a little bummed that we're switching just because I think I'm getting tired of like changing locations and unpacking and repacking so much the same stuff. Um, but. I'm not complaining because this is amazing. And I don't know, part of me just wanted to see as much as we could. I think now I'm like, ooh, it is kind of tiring changing locations so much, but it's also so beautiful. And when since it's so expensive to come to Europe and so hard and so long of a flight, I just wanted to see as much as we could. I think our intention was to like see as many places as we could and then decide, okay, if we were to come back, where would we want to spend more time and kind of sink into? And so far, Ischia, a thousand million percent has my heart. Yeah. All right, this is the moment of truth. Yes. Sorry, babe, this is just too epic. I can't. We made it! So far. I guess I shouldn't like say that until we make it up all these mountainous hills, but all of our luggage is back there, and um, I don't know, it seems like a miracle. Surprise! Oh, Callie and Dan are just leaving as we're getting here because we're checking in the same place they were. Oh my gosh, what an icon! Check it out, man! Oh my gosh, perfect timing to get one last final goodbye. Oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a private villa where, I mean, they have like several apartments in it, but, oh, oh shoot, <laughs> blocking her in. We got Cal too! We had this dramatic, tearful goodbye last night. And then, and here we are again. Just try to separate us. <laughs> oh, I have to say bye to her for real. Ah. Oh from up here. The 
This is like a whole different animal. Every little corner of this place is so charming. Oh my gosh. Just casually crossing the bridge for turtle flip. I can't. Roses, lemons, I'm in heaven. Oh, they have a real lemon tree here. There are strawberries growing in this pot. What a cool way to like plant them. Wow. It is so beautiful here, I literally cried. I cried on the tour and now I'm gonna show you our room. You're not ready. This also was around 300 a night, which I think is like unbelievably reasonable for what you get. Like this is like, a luxury five-star hotel, but you're like at home, so I don't know. This is the courtyard leading into our room, and then you just go in these curtains. Oh, 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 oh. it's so beautiful. Just has like a sofa here. Everything's just so elegant. It's just all white and beautiful. I love the tile floors. They left us a little fruit basket, which is so sweet, and just grand, honestly. Just so beautiful. And here's our balcony, and she said that we have the best view of the sunset from the balcony. It's gonna set right here. So I think we should probably get some wine and just enjoy. He's out there enjoying it already. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Whoa. I'm literally just moved to tears. This is literally my dream home. One of my favorite things about traveling is learning from the inspiration of how other people live different places. So this has really inspired me to kind of up my outdoor space at home because I love it so much. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, my heart is just over overflowing with excitement and gratitude of finding these little hidden gem places. It's like you can imagine what it feels like to live in a villa on top of an island, right? Like where else can you do that? And I just am like, wow, like, I don't know. The price is reasonable, especially if you're splitting it with someone. So um, just highly recommend, and I will give the link. We booked it on booking.com, but Kelly found it. And I've been waiting to show you the best part for last because you're not ready for this bathroom because I wasn't. So there's a lot of built-in storage in here. And this just looks like another armoire because there's like one here. There's one around the corner. But this one opens up to probably the most luxurious bathroom I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, like I honestly, I, I, I have no words. Look at this, look at this place. They have so many little knickknacks. It doesn't look like they have any patty wax. Oh, look at this, this is iconic. We love her. Oh my gosh, bath salts. This tub is so big and so deep. We are 100% taking a bath, Uh, yeah. I'm without words. This place is literally one of the coolest places I've ever stayed. <sighs> Keep you posted. I could not be more obsessed with this place. <gasps> oh my God, look at this droopy cactus with flowers on it. What the heck is this? What? Okay, I'm sorry. These hydrangeas just bursting at the seams, going from pink to purple. This like, oh, okay, wow. We are on a mission to go eat pizza. We're so hungry. We had breakfast at the other hotel this morning and we just had like some eggs and fruit and we are very hungry and we're both craving pizza. We just had the most intense situation. <laughs> We've been looking for pizza for an hour at this point. We had to like scrunch our tiny little tin can into a bunch of different parking spaces. We went to several places. One that said it was open, it was closed. The next one was open. They sat us, we got water. And then they said, oh, they can't do pizza right now. And we just had our heart set on pizza. And we're like, okay, do we settle for like a subpar beach stand? Like it just didn't look great. Or do we just keep going? So we asked our amazing host Constantine and he sent us to this place. And this is the wildest part. We park and we had walked by this one last night and said, oh my gosh, that's a vibe that's so cute. We literally walked by, it was literally steps away from where we were last night, where we got our granadas and all that stuff. So we're stoked. 
this just got fired in this perfect little oven right here. We're almost the only people here. Oh, we're just so happy. It's the little things, you know? We decided we wanted to pop champs at the villa, and so we came here, and I'm shocked at the prices on this one. I would have filmed that journey home, but I was hanging on by a thread, praying for my life. It was wild. We ended up driving, it was like, I guess what would be rush hour here, and it was like, truly like every man for himself like a scooter would pull in front of us and then somebody would just walk and then it was just like if you have ever driven in another country where especially like in a smaller town way of life it's just different there's like kids on like scooters like right in front of you and you're just like everything you have to feel like you're like hyper alert and so i felt like i was like gritting my teeth the whole way home and i'm taking a deep breath now because we just got home and i don't know if you guys can hear the birds but like this villa is truly so unbelievably peaceful it's like the highest point that i can see on this island like there's a couple other houses that are at the same height but this is just like so special and somebody is giving a live classical concert down there and we can hear it i'm gonna try and show you guys so i don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like he was on the microphone a second ago and there's somewhere over here is doing like a live piano concert and we are just relaxing and there's birds chirping and the sun's starting to go down and we have a bottle of Prosecco chilling. He said, no, no, we don't, we don't. I was like, why? He said it doesn't fit in the mini fridge. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, we could probably put we it in the one in the, the, the kitchen. Yeah. There's a little kitchen here where you can like cook yourself something and where they serve breakfast. I'm gonna give you guys um, a tour, like a better tour tomorrow. But yeah, right now we're just gonna relax and enjoy. It's so peaceful. Ooh, there's still enough sun that we could take a little swim. I think I just discovered a freaking kumquat tree. And this is literally like my favorite fruit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to be in here too long by myself. I got some company and he smells like Skeeter spray. Yay! <sighs> A hammock for two to redeem our <laughs> breaking hammock that we broke over New Year's in Miami, if everyone remembers that. We came out to explore the town of San Angelo and we just parked and you just walk up this little cliff. Oh, I need to walk back there to show you guys the vantage point. When we leave, I'll do that, but look how cute this is. They have this little beach cool just right here. It's just so cute. Oh my gosh, look. The sea sparkles are so strong right now. Oh, I'm so excited for a beach day. people are here and I've heard about this but they have like hot springs that are natural like the sand is so hot underneath that it's like creates a bubbling hot tub in the ocean so all these people in here are just like enjoying nature's hot tub how special We almost got stranded here at Scanella, but we didn't. We could obviously have like hiked up to the top, found a cab, found our way back, but we had a boat that we scheduled that didn't make it, but we think we see him. I somehow changed out of my suit. We're headed for dinner. We had such a beautiful, fun day here. I'll be telling you all about it later. Help has come. <laughs> I'm in absolute heaven, even though I look like absolute hell. <laughs> Um, we woke up and decided to just enjoy the villa today. We were gonna go out and do all this stuff and like, we're tired, man. And I wanna enjoy this place because the other guests that have the house here by the pool are out for the day. 
um, the woman that does like, she does breakfast and like kind of like tidy stuff up. She went home for the day. And so like literally, I think we have the place completely to ourselves, which makes me fantasize that I'm living my dream in an Iskian villa. So I've decided to do that. Um, my perfect partner just brought me a glass of cold Iskia. I guess it would be like a sparkling wine mm -hmm. done here in Iskia. And uh, I think, I hope, because that's what we thought it was. Oh my God, it's so good. This is one of the plums that we got off Paolo last night. Um, apparently on the way here, uh, Sparky saw some turtles in the pond. Um, I'm real excited to go see those turtles right now. I've been out here doing some breath work, meditating, journaling. This is what I was saying the other day. I'm like, when you get so out of your routine, you just start to like get very, I, I start to get very like anxious. And so I've noted that like the last few days I've been like pretty anxious about like, okay, we have to do this at this time. And da, 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 and we have, it's like, it kind of takes the fun out of like the spontaneity and magic of travel sometimes. So we're having a little conscious reset day today where we just like relax, swim in the pool, have fun. Um, and then we're gonna go explore some botanical gardens and have a beautiful dinner for our last night. But I just felt called to like enjoy this property and like look down at the island. Like we've been in the hustle and bustle of it and I wanna come back, but I think that that's something that happens with me with travel. Like I feel like I have to see everything when I'm somewhere to like justify the cost of getting there. And like, what if I never come back? And that's all approaching everything from a very scarcity mindset. And I don't wanna do that right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this lovely day. I'm gonna show you some turtles and then I'm gonna swim and I'll catch you guys again um, after dinner. Or maybe I'll give you like a little golden hour villa tour. We'll just see what happens. Let's follow the magic. Oh, oh my gosh, there's turtle boys. Wait, I have to get a better view. Hold on. Oh my goodness, look at the little turtle boys. What are they doing? There's turtle in there. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Sparky just found a baby turtle on a lily pad. A baby turtle, I repeat, on a lily pad. I wish I could like tell you the scale. Like, what do you think, babe? Would you estimate that's about the size of like, like a silver dollar? I was gonna say a silver dollar. Oh my god. You guys, what? A silver dollar baby turtle on a lily pad? At my house? I'm sorry, I'm absolutely losing it. Had to come back for one last perfect pizza at this place that we loved. Had to have the lemon soda, Ovs. We decided against gelato and instead we went in favor of our favorite granitas. Excuse me. Oh yeah. <laughs> he has mine, it's cantaloupe. He went with lemon, it's delicious. We're by this fountain that we don't quite understand what it's supposed to be. This resort makes their own olive oil. I'm so excited to try it. Oh my goodness. I love it when they come with an amuse bouche. Oh my gosh. This looks unreal. All right. Oh, this looks so lovely. Okay, this hotel is so nice. We also discovered that they do massages in the freaking lemon grove here. So I will be back. All right, in the robes, hanging out in the room. So sad to leave the villa tomorrow. We had the most magical dinner ever tonight. It was such a romantic date night. We're gutted to leave. I'm already like plotting my return. This is such a special place. It's like the Amalfi Coast meets like a little, like touches of Como a little. It feels like, what else, babe? What do you think it feels like? Like Jurassic Park, like it just feels <laughs> magical. It's just secluded and it's like, it's just a slower type of life. Like every time you go to dinner, expect to spend like three hours just Yeah, like, they're not rushing you yeah. along to like get the reservation turned over. They're like, like the little fruit guy we met, Paolo was so sweet. Like, it's just cool to see a way of life that is so different and just i don't know it's just simpler it's just so nice it's like a small town feel and an island feel but it still has everything you need like mm -hmm. it's just like a slower pace 
and it asks you to kind of just relax and literally stop and smell all the beautiful flowers around here. It's like a little island wellness paradise. I love it so much. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, we're sad to leave, but tomorrow we are going to Greece and it's the last leg of our journey. And while I'm kind of excited to go home to get back into routine and I just miss the house, I miss, I need to get back to the cabin and finish some stuff, etc. It's just like, it's just been so special and I'm just also like really, really sad to leave here. There were, we didn't, we were gonna go to the botanical gardens today, but we were so tired, like I said, and it was so hot and we were gonna try and go in the morning tomorrow, but we're like, let's not stress ourselves out because tomorrow we have to catch a ferry and then also catch a flight. So it's gonna be a big day, but I can't wait to show you the place that we booked in Santorini. I have always wanted to go and I booked like the most beautiful place it's my birthday week so this is what's kicking it off we're spending six days in greece um mm -hmm. celebrating my birthday Woo! Mm -hmm. so yeah i'm just i treated myself for the first two days and then we found like a very like a reasonably priced airbnb for the other days and then we're ending with a bang in mykonos but you'll have to wait and see everything because i don't even know what we're exactly doing yet but it's going to be really great so i just wanted to sign off um it's been a magical here in Ischia. Oh, I did I do the full like villa tour? I think I did. Whatever. We're done here. But it's been a magical time and I just can't wait to come back. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with us on the trip. It's been so much fun to share this with you all and to capture these memories. We've already gone back and watched it. I know Callie and Deanna have already gone back and watched their bits too. It's just like so fun to have the memories. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Peace out of Riva Bye.